Hey, welcome to the vlog. Today we're with Ezgi and Ufuk for their wedding. They're getting ready at Down Hall Hotel. Just before we get to the video, have you liked? Have you subscribed? I know you want to. Now let's get on with the show. Good morning, everybody. How are we? Good morning. I just see a mist of hairspray. Good morning, how are you? Hello. Good morning. Hello, sir, how are you? Good, good. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. hello. It has been a how long are you? time since I walked in. I'm good. Mr. You? Shopping. Where's your husband to be? That's a go. He just called me. Saying I said it's been a long time since we saw you when we walked in, Mr. So Joby. Please come okay. with me. This is how we're going to present this. This is the first time I've seen a dress. <laughs> no, 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 don't you. No, look at where the dress is. This is how we photograph it from now on. How much did you say the dress weighs? They think they own the world. Ezgi's decided to pick the heaviest dress I've ever lifted. And I mean, seriously, I've picked up a lot of dresses to photograph them. But this dress is so heavy that the mannequin couldn't hold it. No hanger could hold it. The dress is lying on the floor. <laughs> this is what I feel like if I don't get my morning coffee. I love how I've taken pictures of brides in a bath and then magically other people appear with brides in a bath. <laughs> that is not going to coffee. Good. There's just one more problem. There's no cup there. Anyway. Yay, I found it! Hey, good. Good. I've got a quick question. There's three bow ties. Which one is his? He doesn't know. But aren't they all three the same? I don't know, you do. Because I'm just looking at them, they all three look exactly the same. Do you want it to be shiny or matte? Better, I will tell you what our elders would say, right? <laughs> does, this, does this have like a corset in the middle? Is that what's holding the weight? If these are what's going to hold the dress, you're going to have blood on your shoulders. Ish, if you ever see a patch anywhere on her shoulders, you warn us, right? After the second highlight, she's no longer going to be doing the bouncy and she's going to be doing the... <laughs> this is the part that when brides try on dresses, have you not seen our show? The Matt brides have said, please don't get a heavy dress. Because they try it on in front and then they stand on their little podium and then they, they give them the, the champagne and then they look at themselves and then they get, they're a little bit woozy and they're like, this will be fine. Yeah, I'll be, I can carry this off. And then they get off the podium and they walk a bit and go, hold on a bloody minute. Gone. We've got our registry at three o'clock. Someone needs to be there to play the music. All jokes aside, we don't know how the system works. And he, I got him to confirm three times that he was going to come. And he messaged me at 2.30 in the morning saying, tell you must come because I'm not going to come till five. And now I don't have oh someone to play my entrance music for the registry. I want another... So are you in a real solution? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to say I want another choban. Oh. <laughs> I'll call my dad. Oh, he'll fix things up straight away. <laughs> my dad was like slapping up people. <laughs> If anyone's got a little speaker, we can put it there. That's it. It's yeah, loud enough. Is that going to be loud enough? It's though, more than loud serious, enough. No. no, it's not loud enough. It's yeah. not. Yeah. I didn't even believe that what I was saying there. That's not a gay company. Uh, going to be taking singing lessons. So Yalta's going to be singing to you while you're walking down. He's going to serenade you. Irfan's about to bake the bride. She's no longer allowed to smile because she will get smile lines. Yalta needs a goal and objective to make her smile this whole day, right? Yeah, we won already. You won. It's gone. The weather's nice. You're a Happy smiley bride. There's nothing that's gonna go wrong. Music will find chisel. Yeah, you're only it's gonna okay. be doing this stuff. That's fine. It's the least of our worries. Okay, can we take your dress outside? I'm not joking. Normally yeah. I joke. That's heavy. I do mess around a lot on the day, and a lot of it's for comedic effect. And Marmot, knowing that, is thinking, yeah, the dress can't be that heavy. Look at his face. Ladies, I'm gonna have one request. Could you just like a once over? No, no, this stuff. Be tidy and into the bathroom because when I shoot the bride afterwards she's gonna say oh my god it's so nice but why was that thing over there the, the dress can die on the floor it's fine you could just chill out second coffee is about to kick in then I'm gonna have a third one and then that's it I'm jumping off the walls you know when this track comes on the DJ puts it on she's gonna in her mind she's imagining doing all this stuff and she's gonna be like the groom is late mm. the groom is late Guess what the excuse he's come up with? There was traffic, but now we just passed it. Uh, then 10 minutes. Okay, is it Turkish 10 minutes or is this real 10 minutes? Real 10 minutes, bro. All right, perfect. I see you when you're here. She has her dress and then she has an extension to the dress. The part that we said was heavy is not even the heavy bit. She also has. All right, here's gear. How much can I sell the dress for? There's always a price, here's gear. How much can I sell it for? How? Oh, Allah. My right arm is feeling it right now. And, we were, and the pictures you sent when the groom's holding you and he's spinning you, good luck with that one. Damad was more likely spinning himself. Izgi sent us a load of photos where the groom is picking her up, he's spinning her. and <laughs> This dress, this is not going to happen with this dress. 
I don't know where she thought this was. It's not. It's going to be a lot of her standing still and him probably jumping up. <laughs> okay, options, boys. Trees, this bit oh, here. So all those videos I do, mm. all the recommendations that the brides give where they say, don't get heavy dress, don't do it. And they're like, I asked her, have you seen these videos? She's like, yeah, yeah, I've seen them, I've seen them. Yeah, but it's Did you pay life. any attention to what they said? Everyone thinks they're going to be different and unique, that's why. She went for the one thing that looks like he's dead. <laughs> I picked the one tree that I can actually reach and as you can see there is it's just a stump there is no top of the tree and I was trying to convince mom what that if he filmed it just underneath where the stump ends he could kind of do it which you know we both didn't believe so now we're trying to work out which tree I can hang this thing on because I need to bring the branch down and I'm worried that it will actually break the tree. Mama, potentially I can put it here. Does this work better for you? That tree looks like it's gonna fall down. That looks much better. We're back. Hello, mate. Why are you here? I'm supposed to see her. You should be somewhere else. Godzilla coming out! Ladies and gentlemen, I give you her. Before she starts, can you bite this a few times? At least we're not hangry, we're just chill. If you've watched any of our vlogs, you will know that we are always rushing because there's a lack of time. Brides try to squeeze everything into one day. And although they've seen our show and they've seen how much stress everyone else goes through, it's like they don't listen. You will probably not listen. Esgi thought she would be ready at 11. There's no way that's going to happen. And now we are rushing because at 3 p.m. she has her civil ceremony. Two hours away. That gives us exactly 15 minutes to do all of her photos, video, everything. Now lean, lean your back onto the, like I'm doing. You got me? Button up, now fix your cufflinks. You don't have to fix it and look at it. It's more like this, but you fix it. And then you just walk like Kenny the desert. You're fixing yourself as you walk. More lower down, put this hand in this pocket. Yeah, and then look that way. Oh, you like this side, right? Look that way. This other hand, do it on your button as if you're just, yeah, like that. I'm gonna sip, you guys saw something over there. Hey, just hold the cigar in the hand, exactly. Okay. Problem is, this is in the sun, that's in the shade. How are you gonna film? Are you gonna be okay? You're gonna film this way. And then there's two plants and they're gonna come and meet in the middle, right? She's gonna come from that side. Yeah, tough. All right, I'm gonna go get her then. So bring him to the right a bit more, mama. Okay, I'm going to get you to come round and you're going to come here. All right, and if you stop just right there. Wait, we're going to tell you. Yeah, you're going to walk towards him. Wait, let me say. And stop. Oh, I need to take photos. Come on. And start walking. Don't turn unless we say, okay? Stop, don't turn. Don't turn. Hand off. Hand off. Don't touch our guy. We're just waiting for the sun. He'll be out in any moment. She's wearing a, she's wearing a very mini dress. You're going to be shocked. You're going to think to yourself, where did you find the dress so petite and small? If he knows his missus, he knows what she's wearing, right? So this is what happens if you're a bride and you don't listen to anyone and you think that you're going to fit everything into the time and you're going to be ready at 11. All right, we need it there. Oh. Everyone ready? And you're going to touch him. You're going to take a step and touch. And go. Once you hug her, hug, and then you're gonna release, and then you're gonna pull back and give her the flowers. And talk to her, tell her how she looks. Okay, looking over your shoulder. Move towards me, you've seen something silly. <laughs> oh my God. But the question is, you want greenery or you want building? Some greenery, yeah. Because in the greenery, we're going to go in away from the building. So do you want to do the building ones first? Do you want any with the pond? Yeah. Okay, we'll do some with the pond. Yeah. And then, um, I think, this kind of a this kind of a fall will be nice for you. You know when you're kind of stepping up the stairs like that when you look back. And then one step is higher. Yeah, and now you look back. The side you like is back, yeah, like that. The flower is in your right hand and then you're gonna turn around as if like you're pulling your dress is stuck at the back like that. And you just and you look back and turn your body towards me. So left foot is up then. It's the other way around then. Yeah. Now look back. Your body, turn your body back, but look down as if you're fixing, you're pulling your dress up, exactly. And the sister has arrived, and she has arrived. You know, you're like, I don't know how to pose. 
So the trick too, if you don't know how to pose, if you ever lock something and you don't know how to pose, you will be in an awkward position. Yeah. So the way to do it is you kind of stop there and then you let go and then you slowly move around, you kind of do stuff and you move around and then we'll capture that and one of them will be one you like. Your sister said something, you look back at her, oh hey, what's up, oh my god. Your, your shoe got stuck, so what would you do? You'd be like that to see what, what was happening, right? You look good, so don't... Okay, do you want to not use them then? Yeah. Alright, so you just like this. And then you're going to kind of put your shoulder on it. Exactly, stuff like that. Alright, now hold your veil. Look that way for me a little bit. Yes, slowly moving around. Right, now, this arm is more like... Yeah, exactly. All right, now stand up and put your hand just on it and lean forward a bit more. Exactly, so as if you held it and you lean forward. Exactly. Flow your dress a bit. And we're gonna do a little flick. Yes, yes. So the picture you sent is like this. I'm gonna show you the picture. Yes. That's the picture. And the other one in the groom is next to you and you're like... Yeah. All right? Yeah. So do you think we're gonna pull this off today? I don't know. Should we try it? Yeah. Don't cry. Don't waste that makeup. Wait. No, your fun is not cheap. Oh, this. Oh, your hair. Uh, but no, didn't. I thought it was just. No, no. Zzz. Over. No. Zzz. Uh, okay. Oh. Normally, the overskirt has just a clip that you unlock. But in this one's case, she has to literally come out of it. <laughs> you know, this is going to be a challenge putting it back on. No, I don't want to put it back on. Oh, you don't want to have it on? No, no. Okay, all right. You look very nice. They're both just different dresses. Normally what brides do is they walk in with that. Yeah, I know. And then they take it off like... Oh, uh, the fact that she can't sit is the best part. Right. Like this. Yeah, exactly, right there. So don't, Oops, don't sit lean. Put the other hand down. Exactly. That's what you're going to do. That's the kind of picture you send. So you're basically, nice you're putting... Out. You need to put your one leg... You're basically like this. Like this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But like is that. my leg going to be in the air? Like yes. And lift. Okay, so Ufo, can you come and sit there? Arm behind her, behind her. Yeah, like that. Yeah, that's you, Ufo. This normally 12 to 1 is where it's the, the sun is at yeah. its highest and it's the sharpest. The sh it's sharp shadows and stuff, so you can't actually open your eyes. See, your sister looks great there because look, she's facing the opposite way to the sun. Okay. So we need to shoot you basically looking at this way. But Yati, let's walk them through the fountain, just from around it and walk up towards there. Stop there, stop there. Come close to each other. Hand around the waist, closer to her. When I say kiss, don't just run away. Kiss and stay. Now, get on, turn your body more towards it. Karen walking, you're looking at each other. Where, where do you want to do it? From here to there? I'm going to have that as a backdrop. Okay, so where do you want to gonna walk. We're going to go into the little booth. Okay. Wait, stay there. Stop, stop, stop. All right, now, Ufuk, kiss your wife, then pull away, and you're gonna walk with her. We believe in you. <laughs> she just left the heels there, I love it. That's good, that's sick. <laughs> quick, 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 quick. One on one pillar, one on the other pillar. You went by the door, okay. Come forward, come forward, take step forward, take step forward. Yeah, right there. You do as if you're doing up your jacket and she's fixing your tie. Go. And then you hold his face, you love him, and then you pull him towards you. Or you pull yourself towards him, that's more like it. Look that way from again. Um, yeah, you put your head, you look away. Turn your back and lean on him, back to back. Oh. No, you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna do that and you're just gonna start moving around. You're getting married in a big white dress, it's cheesy, a little bit, tiny bit. Lama, turn your body a little bit towards me. Don't, don't drop your wife. We need to go, team. I'll see you guys at the wedding. We are so out of time at this point. The registrars are start to call saying, are you guys on your way? Uh, we potentially could miss this whole wedding. The drums are out and that means the party has begun. Look at the smile on Ufuk's face. I mean, he really wants to be there. I think he wants to be on his honeymoon at this point.
I think we may have just pulled this off. Make sure that you hit the like button and you're subscribed. If you're enjoying these kind of videos, here's another one just for you.